Cider with Tim. So, are you able to tell us a little bit about your company? Yeah. yeah, well, I'm an agricultural engineer by trade, and I started making cider on the kitchen table in 2006 purely as a hobby. Yeah. And it's just gone from there. Predominantly used apples that go to waste because there's so many apples that go to waste. Very resourceful. So, yeah. And nothing's wasted, even after we pressed it, all the pomace goes to feed the pigs. Oh, yeah. And any, any rotten apples goes to feed the pigs, so nothing's wasted. Oh, excellent. you got lots of different flavours. Yeah. Well, we've added some we've fruit to some of them. Yeah. So there's still real cider with fruit juice added. But this one is always our most popular on the farmhouse. And that's the farmhouse. won lots of awards, it won the Great Place Award. Amazing. Cheers. Cheers. and also guess how many corks there are in the jar you can win some champagne for the adults. Um, come down and see me, learn a bit more about what we do and have a go at the games. Priors Court is a registered charity which provide education and residential care for young people with complex autism aged 5 to 25, helping them to build a brighter future and a more independent future. So it's a really good charity. They're fundraising for a theatre at the moment. independent uh, practice that comes and sees all your farm animals and um, we also deal with game bird vets and poultry. Oh yeah. We have uh, three vets, um, Cam being one of them. Oh. And, yes. uh, so Cam, how long have you, does it take to become a vet and where did you study? Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, five years training. I did mine up in Edinburgh. Uh, I think quite a progressive practice. A lot of our focus is on preventative health. Preventative route is the way everyone's trying to make it now rather than yeah. dealing with it when before it's too late, I suppose. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you for having a chat with me. And yeah, no.